just saw A Quiet Place too. Now I love the Death Angels, but why do they look like that? Why are they blind? Why do they run that way? Why are they so difficult to kill? Why is it so impossible? Now John Krasinski has said that they came from a destroyed planet. Their planet was completely destroyed. But that's all the details we get. John Krasinski has said that it doesn't matter where they come from, but I think it does because I want to draw them. So I did the hard work for you, John. This is an in-depth study of the anatomy and evolution of the Death Angels from A Quiet Place 2. And yes, I do draw them. Did I mention I'm an artist? I'm an artist. Fun fact about the aliens from A Quiet Place, they didn't know what they were gonna look like for a long time. They completely changed the design of it. John Krasinski has said that he based it off of bats running. That was what inspired them. Which makes sense because both of them use sonar. Now you're saying, Casey, of course he did, it's a bat. But did you know that he also studied prehistoric fish for the design? I think I know which fish, the Dunkleosteus. John Krasinski studied these fish because they have giant armor plated on their face. Sound familiar? Am I crazy? No, look at this. Does this look familiar to you? Coincidence, I think not. Now I'll get back to their evolution soon, but what planet did the aliens originate from? Now we all know that the aliens landed in Mexico from a meteor from a destroyed planet, but which destroyed planet? In my studies, there's only three possible answers. Did the aliens come from Kepler 10C? No, probably not, it's too far away. Or was it BD 2307? Nope, that's also still too far away. The aliens could only have come from da 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 ta Planet Formal Hot B, also known as the Zombie Planet. Formal Hot B, also known as Planet Dagon, my god, that's such a cool name, was discovered by NASA while it was exploding. She's beautiful, she's perfect. The hypothetical homeworld of the aliens from A Quiet Place 2 would be constantly berated by asteroids. They would have to evolve super hard armor and super speed to avoid impact. And inevitably their planet exploded and it sent them crashing towards ours, 25 light years away. Now it makes sense that they have these long ass arms, not because they were vestigial wings like that, but because they gotta climb over these rocky crags and craters on their planet. Now it makes sense that they're blind because their sunlight is blocked completely by a field of asteroids of dust and iron and metal. Now John Krasinski, how could an armored fish like this turn into an alien like this? To answer that question, we have to look at real fish that have arms. And I know that the death angels cannot swim. You've got the mangrove keelyfish, the climbing catfish, and of course the mud skipper, all of whom climb out of the water when their environment is being threatened, maybe by an asteroid? And from fish, you get reptiles, and they probably evolved in a dangerous, toxic environment to get these long-ass arms. So now we know why they look the way they do and why they act the way they act. So let's just get drawn already. I don't even have enough time in this three-minute video to talk about the science of how they could travel from 25 light years away all the way here and still live. But let's take a break from science. Look at this pretty picture of the alien. It's such a spooky boy. Look at him. He's got these massive claws, and he's so cool, and he runs really fast. They can actually run 300 miles per hour. I love of science behind monsters and aliens so just tell me in the comments which one you want me to do next without further ado here is the death angel what alien should i do next